Ouch. I want to go into Publix Plaza and fly a drone. It's just too small. There's not enough room here. I gotta go find a different spot. I could go up by Burger King because there's never anybody up there. <laughs> this is a weird place to fly, but I'm flying a Burger King. <laughs> As most of you guys that watch our channel know, most of our videos come from viewer comments. And that's what today is. We're gonna do another viewer comment. and We're gonna make a video about this question. About a month or so ago, Ron D commented, he said, there's a test I'm curious about. If you go to an urban area with lots of Wi-Fi, will flying at different altitudes lessen or improve controller strength and flight distance? Man, that's a great question. And that's a great video idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna use Jack. He's never let us down, so let's get started. So the way I wanna test this out, I wanna try to make maybe three flights. I wanna go up 50 feet and go out, see if we have any interference or if we have a signal problem. And then I wanna raise it up to 100 feet and go out and then 150 feet and go out and see which one actually performs better. Everybody always says if you have a signal problem with your drone, just raise it up and you'll probably get a better signal. That, that doesn't always happen for me. <laughs> We're in this area that's definitely got some Wi-Fi and, and probably some interference, but I don't really want to have any frequency interference because you guys remember what happened last time with Rose? You did amazing. That was cool. Why are you, where are you going? Why are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna crash. I don't want to have a repeat. <laughs> Flying 50 feet over these businesses is probably not a really good idea. Somebody might complain or call the police. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to get started. I'm gonna put them out on the truck. All right, well, today is the perfect day to fly. The wind is not pretty much non-existent. The temperature is perfect. I've got the windows down. I can hear all of the nice ambient noises of the cars and people. So let's get Jack up in the air. We'll go up to 50 feet and we'll... Take off. What the heck? What is this? I gotta check something. I thought we were out of the airport area. Yes, we are not in the flight area, so we are good. Okay, so we need to fly in that direction over there because there's an airport in that direction. <laughs> I want to, this thing drives me crazy, but I wanted to break in here real quick and let you guys know that we're going to try something new this coming month. We're going to do 30 short videos in 30 days. Now, if you're like me, I know that you don't probably don't like short videos. I don't really like them either, but I want to see if it helps our channel grow a little bit. So the next 30 days, start, please start in May 1st. We're going to do 30 videos in 30 days. So make sure that you guys tune in, watch the video, share them with your friends and help us grow a little bit. So thank you guys. Back to the main right. video. Well, guys, there's been a kind of a change in plans. I had to start the truck and roll the windows up because there's a leaf blower right over there across the parking lot, and I couldn't hear myself think. <laughs> so let's go over here and check the uh, the safety stuff here. And check the auto auto safety settings. Return to home is set. I always want to check this transmission tab now before I fly because that's what happened with Rose. I had some bad interference. Okay, now that looks good. And we're with Jack, so we're with the uh, 1.03.0000 firmware and the 1.4.8 flyout version. You can probably still hear the... He's right behind me. <laughs> Jeez, man. Go away. <laughs> All right, let me get Jack up in the air. We'll start off with our 50-foot flight. We're close to the airport, but we're not... Um, the home point has been we're not in the, in the airspace, though. The he was drifting a little bit, so I did an IMU calibration as well. So let's... Let's go over this way here to the right. Pull the gimbal down just a little bit. We'll go up, say, 50 feet. Let's go, okay, 56 feet. We'll start with that. That stuff looks awfully high over there, so hopefully I'm high enough. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to crash into somebody's condo or whatever it is over there. Let's go out here and see what, see what we've got as far as uh, signal drop. Yeah, he's flying straight and true now. <laughs> he is low to the ground, man. Wow, he's, somebody's gonna complain, I know it. All right, let's just see where we're at. We're at 300 feet here. We don't have any any interference here or any uh, signal drop yet. 500 feet out, still looks good. We got one bar that went down, but it came back up. And we have still have absolutely no, inter, no uh, signal drop at 750 feet. Oh, there we go, we've got a moderate signal right there. So let me come back a little bit. Where were we? About right there, I guess. Let's just keep going here, 900 feet. We had a moderate signal drop there. It was like 750 or 800 feet. So we're at 1,000 feet out. And we are 
pretty much over this. I think we're over this pond. I don't think we're at anybody's yard here. Let me look down. Yeah, we're pretty much over the over the water here. So we got a moderate signal. So let's come home, and we'll go out. Um, we'll go out at 100 feet and see where we're at. All right, we got Jack back. So let's get up in the air and we'll go up 100 feet. Take off. The home point has been. The lawnmower guy left. Check it on the map. <laughs> I don't know if I got if I scared him or what. All right, we're going up to 100 feet here. And we're going to fly out to that same same spot, give or take, and see if we can uh, see if we can get some signal drop out there at 100 feet. I'm I'm not really very good at following the same direction sometimes. The pond that we're looking at there, that was the uh, that was where we were, I believe. So we'll just go out at about a thousand feet or so. Watch the signal here, and uh, we'll see where the signal drops out at. Like I said, I'm not. Oh, we got a a low bar or a bar that just went away there. It was like 800 feet. Oh, there we go. We're still at a thousand feet. We're at a thousand feet. We had a uh, a bar. Uh, we went to the moderate signal there at a thousand feet. Let me get over the water here. That way they don't think that I'm trying to take pictures of their house or something. Okay, so here we are. We're at a moderate signal at a hundred feet. We were at a moderate signal at fifty feet. We're at a moderate signal at a hundred feet. I don't want to make another flight, so let's uh, let's just raise up and see what what happens with the signal. We we'll go up to 150 feet here. So the signal come came back at 120 feet, but now it's now it's well it's, it's in and out I guess. So let's uh, sink back down to say 50 feet. See if we can get that signal to drop again. All right, the signal dropped. So I guess in a high Wi-Fi area, I guess it's true. Whenever you raise your drone up, your signal comes back. So we're going back up again at 120 feet or so and it came back. It's in and out, but it's definitely better the higher that you go. All right, let's get Jack back. Guys, I hope that answered your question. We went out at a low altitude and we had a signal drop, and whenever we went out at a higher altitude, we had the same signal drop, so we raised in height and the signal came back. So the experts are right, I think, on this one. Listen, if you guys have any questions or if you have any comments or suggestions, now there's a train. That was a short train, just enough to interrupt me. <laughs> If you have any suggestions or if you have any tests that you want us to do in the future, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'd really appreciate it. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless.